To assess the size of the spleen, percuss the left lower anterior chest wall in a lateral direction, noting the extent of tympani. If tympani is prominent laterally, spleen enlargement is unlikely. Next, check for a splenic percussion sign. Find the lowest interspace in the left anterior axillary line and percuss there. If tympani is heard, ask the patient to take a deep breath. All right, now let it out. As you continue to percuss in the same place. When spleen size is normal, tympani usually persists and the sign is considered negative. An enlarged spleen is then very unlikely. When the spleen is enlarged, tympani often changes to dullness. This is a positive sign. This sign may be falsely positive, but it indicates careful palpation. All right, I'm going to see now if I can feel the spleen. Next, palpate the spleen. With your left hand, reach over and around the patient to support the left lower posterior rib cage and adjacent tissue. Place your right hand on the abdomen, low enough to detect a large spleen, and point your fingers toward the costal margin. When the patient takes a deep breath, try to feel the spleen as it comes down to meet your fingertips. Repeat several times, varying your hand position and moving it up gradually toward the costal margin. Now, could you roll onto then your ask the patient right to turn onto her right side and try again. The spleen is not usually palpable. If you feel it, measure its distance in centimeters from the costal margin during inspiration. Take a deep breath. Out. Once again.